Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul. I found quite a few things and a lot of them are like brand new. So if you would like to see, please keep watching. So the first thing I picked up is the Maybelline 24 hour foundation super stay full coverage. I actually already bought this right when it first came out but I bought it in like the lightest shade and now that it is summertime I plan on getting tan so I wanted to get a darker shade. This is 220 natural beige. It is a little bit too dark for me still but I figured I could mix this with the lighter one and then I could rock it all summer. Um, I still want to do a foundation first impression on this because I have not tried it yet so keep a lookout for that I'm so excited that it has a pump I wish more than anything that they would put pumps on the dewy plus smooth and the matte and poreless because those are like my favorite drugstore foundations so Maybelline please put pumps on those foundations so I actually bought a few foundations um, not all of them are gonna be in this haul but I wanted to get some darker ones for the summer because most of mine are either way too dark or they're all like the lightest shade and we just got a pool so I plan on being like super tan this summer so I picked up one of my all-time favorite foundations this is the L'Oreal true match Lumi healthy luminous makeup I got the shade W4 natural beige I think um, when I'm not super pale, but maybe like, I don't know, like a light shade, uh, I usually wear N3, I believe. So I figured I could mix the two if this one's too dark, but I love this foundation and it has a pump. I love the coverage. Um, it's not super full coverage, but it, it's enough coverage for me and I love the way it looks on my skin. This next thing I was really excited about, I haven't seen this anywhere or I've never heard anybody talk about it. This is from L'Oreal and it's the Crushed Foil Metallic Highlighter. This is the packaging. I think there, there was two shades and I got the lightest one. This one's in the shade 10 Rose. So this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline. Ooh. Yeah, it has the same formula or the feeling as the Maybelline um, Master Chrome, is that what it's called, or Master Gold? So this is what it looks like. It's really pigmented. Look at that. It's like a, it's definitely a metallic highlighter. It's really pretty. I wish they would come out with a lighter shade because this right here is still, this would be way too dark for me to put in the center of my face. I could probably put it on my cheeks unless I get a little bit more tan then I should be fine but I wish they would come out with like a lighter like pale gold or maybe even like a white gold shade that'd be really pretty. So NYX was like 40 or 50 percent off of Ulta's in the sale tab so they had a lot of NYX stuff on there for half off so I got this NYX dark circle eraser concealer and it says it's an orange pigment. It came in this little box right here. Ooh, this is actually a little pop, but I guess I probably won't need too, too much. Oh, okay. It doesn't really look orange to me. It looks more salmon. It kind of looks like the Becca one, but not really. So I'm excited to try that. Hopefully you guys can't hear my air conditioner. It just kicked on. Oh, I have a mic now, so hopefully you can't hear it. You can just hear me, but if you can, I'm really sorry. I'll try to make an effort to turn it off before I film. Anyways, um, and then the Walmarts by my house. So they used to be so bad. Like they're not like the Walmarts in Kansas where everything is like clean. The people are friendly. Everything's always stocked. Like the Walmarts in California, like I feel like you should avoid at all costs unless you have to go there. So the makeup aisles are so bad. Everything's always broken. Um, nothing's ever stocked. And it's just like a disaster. Like you're lucky if you could find one thing in there. Anyway, so they changed it up and they made it to where you can't bring your baskets back there or like larger handbags because I'm assuming they just had a really bad theft problem. Um, and then you have to pay for your makeup back there in the aisle. And I went there um, a couple days ago. I didn't know they had already done this. And I went in there and I saw it and literally everything was in stock there was maybe like two things I saw that were broken compared to like everything being broken I was like hell yes finally because normally the only Walmart I could go to that's always fully stocked is my hometown like Manhattan Kansas so I always go to that Walmart when I go back but now I can go to the Walmart that's like five minutes from my house so that is so cool like I'm so excited anyways so I finally got to go and everything was fully stocked so I picked up some things and this I found I've never seen this before this is from elf and it's the aqua beauty primer mist 
So I'm almost out of my Smashbox primer water. So instead of getting another one of these guys because it's pricey, I figured I could try this out. Hopefully it's just as good. They also stocked my Walmart with the Salon Perfect uh, lashes. I'm so excited. They're some of my favorites. These... I don't know. I think I might need to brush them out with a spoolie so they don't look so plastic. They actually looked better in the store than when I brought them home. I was like, what did I do? But these are in the style 615 and they reminded me of the Bambi lashes from House of Lashes, which are like my favorite. So that's why I picked these up and they're buy one, get one free. So I got $20 worth of lashes for 10 bucks. So I thought that was awesome. This does come with five pairs. And then I saw this from Hard Candy. I believe it's new. I've never seen it before. I do have the All Matte Palette. Um, I just used it in my Full Face of First Impressions video. It was okay. Um, I tried not to judge it too hard because it was only $10 for 15 matte shades. So if you'd like to see my thoughts on that, make sure you look at that video. Um, but this one, look at that. This one comes with like 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, nine shimmer shades and then one, two, three, four, five, six matte shades and the brushes. They actually look like they revamped the brushes. These look, these look a lot better than the ones that were in the all matte palette. I'm so excited for this. This is what it looks like already. I can tell that they redid the brushes because the brushes in the all matte palette are like that plasticky bristle. And this actually feels like, I don't know, synthetic or real hair. I can't really tell, but this looks gorgeous. I want to touch this shade because... Ooh, that this shade right here reminds me of the rose gold like pressed uh, pigment or whatever in the Huda Beauty. Is it Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty? I don't know. Uh, rose gold palette. Ooh, that's so pretty. I was not expecting it to look like that. Let's do this gold shade. So they must have revamped the formula because these feel amazing. It's hard for me to swatch because my dang nails. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I do think I'm gonna have to use a glitter glue for the pressed like glitter shimmer shades, but I don't mind one bit. I also feel I'll get more use out of this palette than I will the old matte palette because in the old matte, matte palette, a lot of the shades are like so similar. Like you can't really do that many looks, but this one, I feel like I'll be able to do a lot. Look at these, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. You guys should totally go pick that up, especially for $10. And then I got three of the new Maybelline, what are they calling these? Like the nudes, I guess. A lot of people talk about these, so I wanted to try them out. The first one right here is 545 Beige Babe. Ooh, super creamy, look at that. That's gorgeous. And then I have 530 Hot Sand. That's really pretty too, right here. So such a pretty nude. And then I have 550 Honey Pink, which looks like it's gonna be one of my favorites. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. And that's the shade right here. So they all look super wearable. So next I picked up one of the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits Liquid Lipsticks. This one's in the shade Don't Be a Plum Plum. It's a super like dark red vampy shade. It looks like to me anyways pretty that's this right here mm -hmm. I didn't realize I had two of these and I actually bought the one that is supposed to be a dupe for the modern renaissance palette I'm not sure what it's called but then I saw somebody do like a mini tutorial using this on Instagram and I was like all right I need that too and these are only five dollars I think there's four different shades but I accidentally picked up two of these so this is in the shade not a basic peach Look how gorgeous this is. I can't wait to use that color and that color and that color and these like, mm. Then I actually pre-ordered this on Amazon and then I wish I would have just waited and bought it from Ulta because that was pointless. But this is the new L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted and it's supposed to smell like peach. Um, this is the blush. There are two or three shades. I got the shade Just Curious. It's a really pretty like peachy shade. Ooh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be like overly peachy. It does smell like peaches from what I can smell. Ooh, it's really smooth. That's it right there. Ooh, that's really pretty. And then um, the Hard Candy glosses were on sale for $3, so I got them because they're some of my favorite. I think I actually got, well, I got a repeat of one because the one I really like, which is called, sorry, this is what they look like. The one that I really like is called like Pink Teddy or something like that and the stopper broke. So I wanted to buy like another one. 
So then I saw that they had all the shades on sh on sale for um, three dollars. So I went and picked up some more. These remind me of the Buxom lip glosses that used to come in the Bare Minerals like package like I don't know 10 years ago um the shades remind me of them and just like the formula and everything so this one right here is in the shade oh nude beach sorry you're probably not gonna really be able to see it because they are like a clear gloss with like a little bit of glitter but I really really like them so that's probably why they were on clearance because look the stopper on this one is broken too um this is it right here like I said you're probably not gonna be able to see it because it is more of like a pale gloss with a little bit of glitter. I might have to buy like a little container and just like scoop out all the gloss and keep them in little like circle containers because I bet you that's why they're all in clearance because the stoppers are all broken. This next one doesn't have any glitter in it and it just looks like a really pale pink nude gloss. It's in the shade Sugar Sugar. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of Turkish Delight from NARS. So that's it right there. So I have four things left. I picked up this NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain and it comes in this little pot. I've been really liking like cream concealers like this. So I wanted to give this a try. This is the shade right here. I'm not gonna stick my finger in it because my nails are too long. I need to get these nails taken off and just go back to like my own nails and just get gel because these nails are killing me. Um, then I have a NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Black Cherry Tart. This looks gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Mm. Then I have a NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Up the Base. And it looks like a grayish purple shade. Ooh, that's really pretty too. And that's totally different from what I normally wear. Ooh, I want to do a makeup tutorial using that. And then I have a NYX Velvet Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade Charmed. And I think it belongs in like the Whipped Caviar family possibly. Ooh, it's super matte but super pretty. This is definitely like a Kylie Jenner color. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay guys, that concludes this drugstore haul. If you liked it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.